In the previous video, we discussed Eddor's Rennie model to create random networks. We also discussed the sequence of steps that we will be following for the implementation. In this video, we will do the implementation. I have pasted uh, the sequence of steps that we discussed in the previous video over here and we will start implementing them. To start with, let me import the packages that we are going to need. We will be needing uh, network x. I'm sorry. We need to display the graph, so we will need matplotlib. We also need random package. Okay, let's start the main. Let's take these steps one by one. So we have to take the value of n from the user uh, and also we have to take the value of p that is probability from the user. We can use the function draw input for that. So we can write n is equal to raw input returns uh, in string format so we need to convert it into int. <clears throat> Similarly, we'll take the value of probability. Okay, the next step is to create an empty graph and add n nodes to it. We'll create an empty graph. We have to now add nodes to it, n nodes to it. We will use the function g dot add nodes from here we can pass a list so we have to add n nodes what we can do is we'll write i from i for i in range n is the total number of nodes so 0 to n minus 1 nodes will be uh, added to the graph at this point, we can also display the graph. Uh, we had already created a display graph function in the previous video, so we are going to reuse it. Let me uh, copy paste that function from the previous video's content and we'll use it as it is. So initially, when we display the graph, it will be all empty, only the nodes will be there. The next step is to add the edges into this graph which which uh, only has nodes as of now. We will create a function for that. Uh, we have to add the edges randomly as per Eddor's Rennie model. So let's create that function. We will pass the graph and the other thing that has to be passed is p. So in in uh, Eddor's Rennie basically uh, we pass two parameters n and p. We can pass n here or we can compute the number of nodes from the graph itself. So I'm going to pass only these two parameters. Let's create this function now. If you remember from the previous video, we have to add the, the edges randomly. Uh, so basically we will take uh, one pair of nodes and uh, based on the probability p, we will add an edge or we will skip it. So let's take all pairs of nodes how can we do that we'll start uh, we'll use two for loops we'll write for i in g dot nodes so we got all the nodes here as the first element in the pair and we'll write for j in g dot nodes we don't have to add the edges to uh, from we don't have to add, add the self edges from one node to itself so we'll put a condition here if i is not equal to j only then we will uh, add the the edge we have to take a random number here and we'll compare that random number uh, with the probability p so we'll take r is equal to random dot random which will return us a value between 0 and 1 
So if r comes out to be less than or equal to p, we will add that h. So we'll write g dot add h. The h is going to be i comma j. And in case uh, r is greater than p, uh, we will not add that h. So we'll just write continue. So these are the main things uh, to add the edges. Now we also want to display the graph and we also want to keep track of the edges which are getting added at each iteration. So let me uh, do one more thing here. So I'll keep track of the edges which are being added into this variable i comma j. Okay. And then I would like to display the graph. So let me call that function display graph uh, which we have already added. Display graph has two parameter, three parameters, the graph, as you can see here, the graph and the node which is being added and the edge which is being added. Uh, so here, uh, nodes are not being added because all the nodes are uh, added to the graph initially. Only the edges are getting added at each iteration. So if you note here and if you remember, uh, NE is a list of edges, right? and i is a single node so we have to keep uh, we have to take care of that uh, while we are passing the things here now we don't want to change the color of the nodes we will just pass an empty string here and we have to pass the edge which is being added in this iteration uh, as a list so let me convert this into list okay and this is what i'll be passing and in case we are not adding any edge, we want to display the graph at that moment as well because we want to see whether in this particular iteration any edge was added or not. So we want to display the graph there also. So let me copy this. In that case, uh, there will not be any new edge. So we'll keep this empty and everything else should remain same. Now let's go back to main and see if we can start executing this code. Uh, we are calling this function endos any we are calling display graph uh, there are three parameters to this function and in main we are passing only one parameter so let me pass the rest two parameters so this is the initial displaying of the graph where uh, there are no new nodes uh, no new edges let's pass uh, the empty strings there so the initial uh, graph should be created and when we are calling display graph from this function, we are passing g comma, we are passing g and we are passing empty string and a list, okay. Let's see whether this function uh, would suffice for that. So the initial condition, uh, this, the, the, uh, this condition cannot be used because both of these are not empty. And if you go to the else part, our i is empty here. So we see that we need to make some changes into uh, this function in order to be able to use this for our set of conditions in this particular uh, model. So maybe we can write L if um, i is equal to empty because this is the case that will be followed uh, when we call display graph from a dos any function. Now, we basically don't want to change the colors of no nodes because every node is ad added initially. So maybe we can let go of uh, this thing. Okay. Only the, uh, only the edges color has to be changed. So this is fine and this is fine and this should be fine. Uh, let me see. We want to display the nodes, right? So let me remove the new nodes uh, statement from here and yeah the rest of the nodes will be displayed in red color uh, rest of the nodes is what we have to define here so i'll write rest i just copy from here okay i'm just uh, playing around you 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 will be able to do it yourself as well uh, or you can start you can write the function once again so I, i'll just explain after i'm done with this i think this should do Okay, so in our case, when we're calling display graph function from this address any function, we are passing three things. And in all the cases, um, G is uh, uh, G is there and empty string is passed as I and the third one is the list. 
in case we are not adding the edge, this list is going to be empty. So let's see which uh, condition will be followed. This condition will not be followed because any is not empty. We will be going into this and rest of the nodes is, are going to be all the nodes and new edges. Yes, we are passing a list there. Yes, this, uh, this should work. Let's go to the main and the value of n is going to be integer, right? And the value of probability is going to be between 0 and 1. So that is actually not going to be integer. So let's add a float there. Now let's call this main function. Now uh, we can now check the functionality of this code. So let's check how it works. Enter the value of n. So let me pass a small value so that we can check the graphs at every iteration. Let me pass 6 for example. The value of p let me add 0 0.6 here. We can pass any value between 0 and 1. So this is the initial graph where there, there are only nodes. 6 nodes are there. There are no edges. Now I am closing this. And in the next iteration, we are getting this edge between these two nodes. And in the next iteration, again, we are getting this edge. We are getting an edge. And in the fourth iteration, as you can see, we are not getting any edge. We got this edge. And uh, so in some iterations, as you can see, we are getting some edges, uh, one edge. And in some iterations, we are not getting. So I think we, I have to do this for 6 into 6, 36 times, right? So as you can see, 36 times this loop uh, will run. And in some of uh, the iterations, i might be equal to j. So no edge might be added. In some of the iterations, the r might be greater than p. So edge, edge might not be added. So this was the functioning of uh, ADOS to any uh, uh, model that we created. I also told you that uh, the degree distribution that ADOS to any model follows is not power law, rather it is uh, normal distribution. We had created a function uh, for plotting the degree distribution in one of previous videos. So uh, I am going to just use that function as it is. Let me copy that and we will use this function plot degree distribution so let's use it here in order to show you the degree distribution i will take some uh, good number of nodes so that uh, we can see a nice plot uh, with the num with uh, many values so i will remove the displaying of the graph so that i don't need to press uh, alt f4 again and again so i am just commenting this displaying of the graph here now let's check the functionality of this code. So we have to observe the degree distribution for an ados any network. Let me add 100 nodes and let me add the probability to be 0.5. So this is a sort of curve that we obtain. So as you can see, um, since we were adding the edges randomly, there, were no, there was no preferential attachment. Uh, we can see that there are very less uh, nodes with very less degree and there are very less nodes with very high degree and there are very uh, large number of nodes with medium degree. So that is the sort of distribution that we obtain, sort of normal distribution that we get in the case of a random network. Let me try it once again for more number of nodes. Maybe I'll add some thousand nodes and the probability to be 0.6. So again, this is... Uh, nice curve that we obtain so as you can see as you keep increasing the number of nodes you can see the nice distribution that it takes okay so that was about the ados any network to ados any model to uh, create the random networks and it follows a normal distribution